This video is going to be on thrombocytopenia, which is a decreased concentration of platelets. And the way you can remember the causes for thrombocytopenia is with the acronym SPUD. S stands for sequestration of platelets. P stands for decreased production of platelets. U stands for increased utilization of platelets. And D stands for destruction of platelets. So typically that's immune-mediated destruction. So first, with sequestration, this is a very uncommon to rare cause of thrombocytopenia. It most commonly occurs with hypersplenism and less commonly with hypothermia. With hypersplenism, the spleen is markedly enlarged. So on palpation of the abdomen, you would palpate this huge spleen. And the platelets with hypersplenism actually get sequestered within the spleen. So the platelet concentration in all of the blood throughout the animal is normal. It's just that they're, the platelets are mostly located within the splenic vasculature. For decreased production of platelets, those are the same causes that cause generalized marrow hypoplasia. So for those causes, go back and review the erythroid hypoplasia lecture. Increased utilization most commonly occurs with hemorrhage. And during times of hemorrhage, the platelets are used to stop the hemorrhage. So you can see mild to moderate thrombocytopenia secondary to hemorrhage. Usually with hemorrhage, the thrombocytopenia is not marked. So usually the concentration with hemorrhage, the platelets are greater than 50,000 per microliter. If the platelets are less than 50,000 per microliter, then you have to go looking for another cause for the thrombocytopenia. A second cause for increased utilization of platelets is something we call disseminated intravascular coagulation, or DIC. This is when there's blood clots forming within the blood vessels. So blood isn't escaping from the blood vessels. There's actually fibrin platelet clumps forming within the vasculature system. And this happens throughout the vasculature system. And that's what disseminated means. So disseminated throughout the blood vessels. Intravascular means within the blood vessels. And coagulation means there's blood clots forming within the vasculature. So you'll learn more about DIC in subsequent lectures. But for now, you would expect to see prolonged PT and PTT. So those are tests of secondary hemostasis. So stay tuned for more on DIC later. Immune mediated destruction of platelets can occur with primary or idiopathic uh, immune mediated thrombocytopenia. This is most commonly a disease of dogs and much like idiopathic IMHA, this is a diagnosis of exclusion. So you have to rule out all the other causes of thrombocytopenia, and then you're left with this diagnosis. Uh, fortunately, however, the big key that immune-mediated thrombocytopenia is present is that it tends to cause a marked thrombocytopenia. So, Initially, patients typically present with uh, platelet counts less than 10 to 50,000 per microliter. And they tend to present this way because this is within the realm of spontaneous or induced hemorrhage. So the marked absence of platelets is actually causing the patient to hemorrhage. So they might present with petechia, mucosal bleeding, epistaxis. However, there are also secondary causes of immune-mediated platelet destruction, and these are commonly infectious. One of the infections that you've already learned about is rickettsial disease. So this is ehrlichiosis anaplasmosis. And for, to diagnose these diseases, you would look for morula within the white blood cells, or you can send out for arthropod-borne disease titers. There are also some drugs that can induce immune-mediated platelet destruction as well. 
Okay, so that's it for the thrombocytopenia lecture. The main causes are sequestration, which is super uncommon, decreased production, which you have to go back and view another lecture for, increased utilization, and destruction.